All right, what's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Today we're going to try and review the Hot Cocoa Cocoa Puff Cereal. Now, obviously this is a limited edition for winter time, and I'm assuming it's basically going to be Cocoa Puffs with marshmallows in it. It may have a little fudgier flavor, I don't know, but from the looks of it on the surface, I see Cocoa Puffs with marshmallows. So whether this tastes like hot cocoa or not is anyone's guess, and we're gonna find out. And on the back, you got games, still no prizes in the cereal. So, by the way, cereal companies, wake up and put some prizes in the actual cereal so the kids can dig through them again. It was fun when I was growing up. Nevertheless, let's give this a shot. I have my face in the box, and all it smells like is cardboard and Taco Bell. So if you've ever worked at Taco Bell or, like, been behind the lines, it kind of this smells like meat. Anyway, so... First thing to notice is, there's the Cocoa Puff. It's a little more glazed, if you want to look at it. And then here is the marshmallows. So they're flat, disc-like marshmallows. Marshmallows are good. They're typical cereal marshmallows. And then this, this is it a typical pu Cocoa Puff? Well, no, it's not. It's not a typical Cocoa Puff. These are highly concentrated chocolate Cocoa Puffs that actually do blend well with the marshmallows. Unlike some cereals that the chocolate tastes like coffee, this actually tastes more fudgy or dark, if you want to call it that. So of course we have some in our hands here. We're gonna mix them together and try those, see what that's like. Now it doesn't actually taste exactly like hot chocolate, but it's more on the way to hot chocolate than some of the other products that claim to be flavored like hot chocolate. So it does not have a coffee flavor or anything like that. It's just straight, deep chocolate with some marshmallows, but we got to give it a test with some milk to find out if this is any good or not. So here we go. Let's give that a shot with our bowl here. And of course we got to put some milk with that. I'm sure it's probably going to turn to milk chocolate at some point. So here we go. Now, because if we know anything about cereals, they all change their flavor when milk is added. That's just how it is, it seems. So, the milk is starting to turn a little chocolatey. It's not bad at all. It's not as good as some cereals. It's it's a little missing on the flavor. It could be a little bit more, but it's really not too bad. Thing is, this isn't one of those cereals. I think a giant bowl of it, like this would be good. I think little, this is one of those cereals, it's, it's a little bit goes a long way. So I would give this cereal right here probably a B rating. And the reason I say that is it's pretty good as far as the flavor is concerned. It actually doesn't have a bad flavor. It just doesn't taste like hot chocolate pretty much. The marshmallows are really good. The cereal itself is really good, don't get me wrong. It just doesn't taste like hot chocolate. It tastes more like a off fudge with marshmallows. So this is actually something that you could probably mix with graham cracker and make a s'mores cereal out of, which actually, I, there is a s'mores cereal out there that's made by Honey Made, and it is amazing. We'll review that later, but I'm gonna give this a B. I'm gonna say it's definitely worth buying, definitely worth eating, but it may not be the absolute best cereal on the market. But, you know, it's a limited edition, so you gotta get into these holiday type of things just in order to see what they have, so. That being said, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share, all that good stuff, and more cereal reviews to come.